Lady Kuching. Oh my god, how long has it been since the time we've waited for a buff on Electro, especially for Kuching? It's basically been two years and finally everything has now been done right with the arrival of Dendro Reaction, thank god. I mean, well, before even without Dendro Reaction, she's still been doing fine. I've been maining her for like two years now, so I know. And then when comes Dendro, everything has just been made like a thousand times better and now Kuching is basically very usable especially for free to play player who usually can't invest in her too much because you know my Kuching is c6 and triple crown so now that dendro is here there is quite a lot of changes in terms of Kuching's gameplay especially her builds artifacts as well as team comps which is why today i am making a dedicated updated guide on Kuching. I won't be going through, you know, her basic skills and talents anymore because I've already covered that in details in her old guide. If you want to learn more about that specifically, I've covered that in very detail in this guide here so you can check out this video. But in this updated guide, it's basically like an advanced guide on Kuching. Now guys, our 6480 pre gems giveaway is still going on on my Discord server. So if you haven't already entered, be sure to subscribe to my channel and enter the Discord server over now before it ends so you have a better chance of saving for your future favorite Sumeru character. With that guys, let's just jump into the video. Okay, first off, I want to kind of like demonstrate the difference between when you're playing with an old coaching team versus when you're playing with a Dendro Reaction coaching team to see how much of a difference it actually makes. So here on the first team, I'll be running coaching Kokomi, Yai, Miko, and Kazuha. Basically, this is an absolute best team that I have been running for coaching every single time. It is very invested. And on the other team, we will be switching Kazuha with our Dendro Lumine for providing Dendro reactions. And so let's see how the two teams pair up with each other. So if you're looking at the result, you're seeing the old team's doing 16 seconds while the other general Runin team is on 13 and you're saying like, Tom, what am I seeing here? The old team is still basically faster. However, here is the point guys. The old team here is running with Kazuha who is a 5 star character, very invested. He is invested into fully EM, basically giving Kuching an absolutely 35% elemental damage bonus plus he is at c1 so a very very invested kazuha while on the other side we have a dendro lumine who is a free to play character plus the only thing she is doing right now is providing coaching dendro reaction which is Kricken and aggravate she does give your team a little bit of em but let's be real guys 60 em isn't that much and it does take time for you to hit the maximum cap of 68 em that she gives so you're looking at a free to play team that is basically equal to an absolutely 5 star invested team which means that just having aggravate Kuching is already very good not to mention later on we'll be having much much better support character in terms of dendro which is going to make Kuching even more insane for sure now guys we're going to be moving on to her artifacts build i want to touch on artifact builds first because it's kind of like the most important thing right now for her that changes her gameplay a lot and so currently build Building Kuching, we have four main builds I would say, which is firstly a normal DPS build, next is a full EM build, and then there's also our Thundering Fury and our Thunder Soother sets. These two sets I have come across many questions of people asking whether these two sets are going to be good, especially Thunder Soother, because most of the time now your enemies will be affected by Electro many of time due to quickened reaction. So we want to test out these four builds for you to actually see which build is going 
going to be best in terms of your gameplay. Now for the builds, I've tried my absolute best to build them as equal as possible. We will be having the build around 65 crit rate with 185 crit damage. We will not be running electro damage cup, but every build will be using attack cup. And then I will be running jade cutter onto Cushing throughout the builds. And for our normal DPS build, I'll be running two piece gladiator with two piece thundering fury, as well as all builds will have two artifact slots at level zero. And then with that, let's see how the build goes up with each other. Next build, we will be looking at our Gilded Dream because this is currently, I would say, the best artifact sets in terms of EM build. And then here are the stats for this build. Let me try. Next, we have our Thundering Fury build. Here are going to be the stats. And then finally, we have our Thunder Soother set. Here are going to be the stats. So with the results, we're seeing our no more DPS build and our Thunder Soother set being at 31 seconds, with our Thundering Fury set being at 33 seconds, and in last place is going to be our EM set. Now there are obviously some discrepancy in my team run, but I've already done each team run for like 10 times to get the best out of all the runs, and then mix it to the videos here for the comparison. So usually running coaching in a no more DPS build will yield you more consistent results. I don't normally recommend you to run full EM build coaching but you still want to invest a little bit in her attack percentage plus electro damage bonus because the thing with running full EM build is that you're very reliant on having your dendro lumines apply dendro fully onto your enemies on the field plus there's also internal cooldown regarding to aggravate so if you're running full EM you're only relying on aggravate damage and most of the time you're missing out on your other normal damage. As for thundering 
Fury set, it is a very good set. However, you're not going to be maximizing the set when using with Kuching, I feel. Because the thing with decreasing your E skill cooldown is usually used when a character has long E skill cooldown. However, Kuching E skill is only 7 seconds, it is very short. So investing it in an extra 18% attack bonus of a 2 piece gladiator is going to be more beneficial on Kuching build. So after the comparison, guys, here's going to be my personal recommendation in terms of Kuching's best artifact sets and build is that I would say our Gilded Dream set here is going to be her best overall artifact set simply because you're getting an 80 EM bonus and the 4 piece is giving you a 14% attack bonus with a 100 EM bonus as well. The reason being is that Kuching is going to be running most of the time in a team that consists of another Electro character so same character here is going to be giving her a 14% attack bonus and then two different character is going to be one Dendro Lumine and then next is either going to be an extra Animo character like Kazuha to buff her electro damage or Kokomi for hyper bloom and healing. So that's going to be two different element character which give her an extra 100 EM. So overall this is going to be a very good set for her. However when it comes to artifact substat I still recommend you to stick with attack sans and then electro goblet so that you can have a rather consistent damage on your overall Kuching's build. You don't want to invest into full EM as we've seen in the comparison of the artifact sets. And then in circlets, usually it's still going to be crit rate or crit damage depending on what stats you are missing. For Kuching's weapon, it's basically still the same as always. We don't have any other new weapons to discuss yet. The mist blitter and the jade cutters are still going to be her best in slot weapons regarding crit damage and crit rate. Four star option, she still has the lion's roll as I would say her BIS options for the four star. You can also use the black sword. It is rather good also, but you don't get any burst damage bonus, only her charge attack and no more attack. And there's also the black cliff long sword as well if you do have it, but generally I don't recommend you to get it from the shops to save your star glitter. For constellation, we don't really have to discuss too much on that because if you've been playing for quite some time, you might already have a few constellation of coaching. Either way, all for constellation are good and obviously the more you get the more her damage will increase which is c6 is going to be the best point for kuching and then for talents wise if you love kuching you can just triple crown her like me generally since she is a hyper carry you would want to invest all of her talent and so if you are planning on building her i would just recommend you to do that also now we also get to one of the most important part as well which is kuching's team in this part guys i will only be discussing on kuching's dendro reaction team I will not touch on any other team because I've already made a very in-depth team guide in this video right here and once again you can go check it out right after this video. For Kuching's best dendro reaction teams right now it's going to be the team I've showcased at the start of the videos which is going to be Kuching, Kokomi, Yai, Miko and our dendro main character. In other words it's going to be two electro with one hydro and one dendro. So if you were to be playing a free to play team for example example you'll be swapping Yaimiko with Fischl and then obviously if you don't have Kokomi you can use Singcho instead but usually I really prefer Kokomi because she, she's just much better than Singcho here in this team and then next you can run a double resonance team which is Kuching, Kole, Fischl and Dendro main character. A full quicken aggravate team which is really really good one of Kuching's best team right now as well however the thing is that Kole here as an other Dendro spot on the team isn't really good because you're probably not going to be investing into Kole that much which means that your overall team damage is less. We'll have to wait until we have more Dendro character at least until Kusanali to fill in Kole's spot. But if you're running a quicken team like this you will have to swap out Fisho with Kukishinobu so that you have a healer on the team. Or another option that we can also do is going to be Kushin, Kazuha, Kukishinobu and our Dendro main character. This team will still focus on quicken while Kazuha here will buff your electro damage of the team or you can also run Jean and Fischl because Fischl of course will be giving our off-field damage a lot better than Kuki Shinobu and Jean here will still have resistance shred and healing for the team. Now for Kuching I will almost never run on a burning team because overload just mess up general reaction quite a lot so the only time when I have a pyro character on her team will probably be when there is Bennett. However my Bennett is C6 so it does mess up the team a lot therefore anything but a C6 Bennett will make this team work. Otherwise, 
C6 Bennett will not work on this team very well. So Ku Qing is an absolutely fun character to play. I can guarantee you her playstyle is very fun. She's very fast and nimble with fast paced animation attacks. It is really really good to play along with Dendro Reaction Arrival. It has just made her a lot better of a character and more easier to use on our team. And so I hope this updated build guide have been able to help you a lot in terms of your Ku Qing build because I've seen that many people have been asking for this. If you do have any question however leave it down in the comment and I will get to you there. Once again guys if you haven't joined our discord server to enter the giveaway be sure to do so before the time runs out. I wish you good luck on winning the giveaway and with that guys I wish you a super day and I will catch you on the next video.